Well, Jay Paul, Doobie Brothers. Yes. I, I said, okay, Stephanie's going crazy because I know how much she loves her some Michael McDonald. And I said, that's, I said, I know Stephanie is like, okay, no, you ain't going, you ain't going to hit me with the doobies. You ain't going to hit me with Michael McDonald right off. Some little blue eyed soul. He, yeah. um, we were getting, keep forgetting. Um, the interesting thing is, Stephanie, is that Snoop did not turn for Jay Paul, right. which I thought was very strange. Um, because, you know, right. Snoop loves his R&B. He loves his, uh, I said, Jay Paul seemed confidently humble. So last night I talked about a certain singer who sang background for Babyface, and this singer did not make yes. it through. Um, and I, I know it's all in how they present the B-reels because Jay Paul's B-reels, B-reel appeared after he sang, right? So mm -hmm. you got mm -hmm. a little bit of his professional background after, and it just didn't seem as boastful to yes. me. Um, I thought it was confidently humble. I know that's kind of oxymoronic, but I think you can flow with me there. Um, yes. It. When he started singing, it almost sounded manufactured. It was so good. It was like manufactured in the best way. Like it was going through some type of singing yeah. machine, some type of auto tuning, because the voice was so in tune. It was almost yes. manufactured. Um, and Jay Paul, yes. I, I'm not saying that because I know you're a singer, singer. So I'm not saying that to not put a knock on you. I'm saying that that's how pure of a tone you were giving us. I said, so yes. good, such good choices. I said, I love how he went jazzy on the back half of the song. Um, but she, the things that he was doing, the little nuances, it was just bananas, right? And it was these little vocal adjustments, Stephanie, and these little nuances where you were like, yo, this guy's a singer, singer. And I was like, yes. Singer. Okay, you do sing background for Stephanie Mills. You do sing background yes, for these do. people. Because of these little things, I said, it was just fire. I like how he gave dynamics on every line he sang. It was like a day crescendo to a crescendo, like a soft to a to a mezzo forte. Um and 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 uh or I'm talking I'm sorry, I'm talking music speak. It was like a soft to a to a, a louder sound. Like there was a it went mm -hmm. every line of the song went somewhere dynamically. Yes. Um uh I said he's just a serious pro pro. Very similar tone to a singer from a many seasons ago. His name was um, John Holiday. Remember John? He was the counter tenor. Um, he sang with Julia Cooper, who was like my favorite singer of all time. And they did that Stevie Wonder. I watched that season. Oh, okay. Well, I, I know I sent you many of those videos. Probably, um, yeah. Um, he remind, reminds me of John Holiday from a previous season. I said, wow, crazy, crazy, crazy voice. Stephanie. I was like star quality number one. I have to be honest. So his uh, this is one of the leaks that we got today, which was interesting. That we actually got two leaks today. So they were they were only like twenty five second clips, but they were leaks. And Jay Paul was in the shadows, so we could not see. I thought he was a female based on his voice, but then I went to the comments, and some of the artists was like, "That's my boy," and I was like, "Oh word!" Right. So when the background story came out and it said that his mom was a choir director and he used to sing soprano. I was like, okay, this is all making she very like, much e sense seven. now. I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, oh no, it mom. was all making Mom's sense. legit. Legit. Yes. <laughs> mom is legit. Um, it's funny that you said jazz. Cause yes, he was giving jazz at the end of that song. Um, there was an, E eclectiveness to his voice that so I could hear him singing a lot of different things. The The whole vibe was giving me Anderson Pock. It was giving me Raphael Sadiq. Yeah, yeah. It was giving me a good friend of ours who is married to a woman whose name begins with an E and his name is an R and he was a choir director for our choir for a little while. Uh, well, yeah, not little while but every yeah, now and again he was giving me him. He yes, does he very much so. Vibe. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was it was very that same evident. Old vibe, yeah. Yes, it was very evident that he had been around choir or he had been around classical or some kind of music theory ish. There was just a lot. 
sophistication to it was his sophistication sound. And sound. Yeah. Oh, it's so sound. good. Yeah. It mm -hmm. was so good. And yes, confirmed. I lost my mind when I heard the opening of the song because this is my jam. Yeah. I I'll go to the grave with this song. This is it. This is it. I'm done. Yeah, so I gotta give a special shout out to, to to Stephanie's mom and dad who raised her on this music. Today is their anniversary. So, hi, mom it's and pop. It's their anniversary. <laughs> hi, mom their and anniversary. And, want. Um, and thank yes. you for raising your daughter on this music. And that's why this music is means so much to Stephanie because this is the music that was played in her house. Well, yes. Too, but her house growing yes. up. <laughs> yes. So, um, who did Jay? Uh, wind up going with he went with buble yes yeah he went with buble jay paul's a technician and buble is a technician and they it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be, it's crazy, gonna be crazy right it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be so good. all yes. right because we got so much to talk about